How's it going guys? It's Drew Junkie here again and today's video we're going to continue on our subject of factory reset protection. Um, it's kind of been my new addiction now actually. It's kind of fun. I used to root phones and now I'm doing this. So this is my LG G4 and this little trick is going to bypass this right here with a bunch of fancy button combinations um, and you know bypass this hold up and snag here so you can get your device functioning again if for some reason you forgot your password whatever the reason may be you bought one online and you, you needed to get into it and they left it locked whatever the problem is this should get you past this on your LG G4 and probably other LG variants for that matter probably the V10 as well so that's what we're going to show you today so you can see I'm stuck here so I'm going to back out you can see I was connected to Wi-Fi already so that's important make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi what we're going to do is we're going to go into accessibilities right here. Hit yes. You're going to turn on some features in here. So we're going to come in here where it says uh, switch access. Make sure it's turned on. Go to settings. Scroll to the bottom. Right here it says combo key overview. Go ahead and then click on that. And then the best thing to do is just select volume down on the back of your phone. And you see it changed it right there. Key code volume down and then hit OK. And then we're going to go back, back again. We're going to go to vision. We're going to go to talk back. And this is just really simple. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to policies. And this is going to launch the internet. Got to love the internet. Click on the little Google up here. That's going to bring you to Google. Now you're going to go to rootjunkiesdl.com, my site. And go ahead and click on that. Then you're going to scroll here to where it says apps. Click on that one. Scroll down to you find Samsung Bypass Google Verify APK. Click on that. Let this thing download. It's, this is so simple. It's kind of hilarious. It's literally some button presses. So it's downloading. So that's good. While that's downloading, you might as well press the back uh, volume down button. And when you do, now you can hit dual window and you should be able to launch the file browser which there it is go to all files go to internal storage go to downloads go to the google verify apk hit install and accept you may have to click on unknown sources it'll probably pop up with settings first i've already done that sorry i missed that step but if it does come up with settings then it'll see unknown sources click on it and then you'll be able to do the install like you just saw um, and then you hit open. Boom, now you're in settings. You should be able to go to general and go to here. So now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. It's a little bit more extra steps. You can't actually reset the device right now. But what you can do is you should be able to go to users and you can add a user. Many steps set up now. So now it's switching uh, to a Google account here, so you can set up a new user on the device. So hit next. There you go, next. This time it should let you sign into a Google account. I know it's a little dim here, but I wanna make sure you can see when I'm on those white screens. So we'll let this thing connect up and we're gonna enter any Google account you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, it should be able to allow you to get into any of them. Here we go, just about done, there you go. So I'm gonna enter my Gmail account, any account that you have, or create a new one, it really doesn't matter. All right, I went ahead and signed in to my account. And this should just finish through the initial setup here. And what's cool about this is that this gets you past that screen. And I'll show you how it does it. Okay, boom, right, you're in the phone. Really awesome, it's just refreshing, okay. So then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go right back into settings again to general users. This time we're going to switch back to owner, say yes, switch to owner. And what should happen, there we go, boom, we're into the device and we're on owner, which is awesome. So then we go back. Now, if we go down here to backup and reset. We can wipe data factory, set the phone. Um, you just, yeah, reset phone. Delete all. Okay. And that is the process. Is that not nuts? <laughs> it's strictly 
nothing, dude. There's no flash drives. There's no anything. Nothing is involved in doing this. It's strictly buttons and settings, the whole thing. So when this gets done, it's going to do its factory reset here in stock recovery. It's erasing. You'll be able to set it up exactly normally again, and you won't have factory reset protection on the device. That is awesome. <laughs> That's trickery. Insane trickery. So if you guys want to see more of these kind of videos here on resetting factory reset protection on different devices, I've done the Samsung. This is LG. I'm probably going to try some stuff on Motorola. And if I can make these videos where it's strictly going through some insanely cool settings, um, this really shouldn't be a hard thing to do on most phones, I don't think. I think there's flaws in their setup procedure across the board. So I'm really kind of excited to uh, check these out and see what I can find. All right, it's just uh, finishing up boot here. Very simple process. We should be able to go through our standard setup like we did before. And uh, we'll go ahead and click on United States for me. There we go. Next, put in my Wi-Fi password. I don't have a SIM card in this thing at this moment. Connecting up, hit next. This time when you come through, you will not be stuck on that snag and you can set it up totally normal, just like you would any device that you factor reset. So I'm uh, pretty, pretty pumped about this. This is just such a cool, fun and simple method. There you go, that looks different, doesn't it? Tap and go, we're not gonna do a tap and go. I'm just gonna show you basically that you can now, see right there, sign into your Google account. I'm just gonna skip it to get into the device and get past all this stuff. It's really uh, not necessary to do and just show you we're booted up. You can add your Google account later, obviously. You really don't need to do all this. So just to show you, there we go. And skippy scappity, boom, you're in. Bypassing factory reset protection on the LG G4 and probably lots of other LG devices can be done exactly the same way. Um, set it up however you want. You're ready to rock and roll. Hope you guys liked the video. Like I said, stay tuned for more if you like this kind of stuff. If you like to see how to root your device. I mean, I do all kinds of videos on these things. So definitely check out my channel, RootJunkie.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.